So manual campaigns. So we kind of talked about this. We want the auto campaigns in the beginning. So we get a ton of data, but auto campaigns, it's really important to understand this graphic that I have in here about match type, right? So auto campaigns are broad match, which is why sometimes your ACOS is crazy because if you're advertising for bamboo skewers, well, a broad match is gonna fire on everything. Bamboo skewer, eco-friendly bamboo skewers, bamboo marshmallow roasting skewers, bamboo sticks. It's not going to fire on stainless steel sticks, right? But it's going to really, I mean, it's, it's going to do synonyms, everything. Um, so there's not always intent to buy behind those broad match keywords, but it's really good for getting that data. And then your phrase match, that is could be so if our if our phrase matches bamboo skewers it could be anything before or after the phrase so you can see like barbecue bamboo skewers it will fire on marshmallow bamboo skewers and then we have exact match so um exact match is exactly that phrase including misspellings okay so um you definitely want to make sure that your um that you're in, when I create a manual campaign in the beginning, I do a uh, phrase and exact match of all those keywords. So for, I'll pull, you know, if, I, if bamboo skewers are my product, I'm gonna pull um, all of the related keywords. I'm gonna use Andy's Pandora tool to steal my competitor's keywords. And then I'm gonna create a manual campaign with, uh, you know, 500 of these keywords. And every single one of those 500, I'm gonna make a phrase match for and every single one of those 500, I'm gonna make an exact match for. Why? Because I wanna see which one is more profitable when I optimize it. And that's what I'm going to uh, to use from that point forward. Yeah, just really quick, Amy, and just yeah. so people know um, what you have to think about too when you're, when you're adding these, these keywords. Um, generally broad, you're gonna to wanna to keep your bids fairly low. Um, because it's going to match a ton of things and it might match a ton of things that are irrelevant. Um, a lot of people will blow through money super fast because they'll start a broad campaign and they don't understand how it works. And so they'll set like a, a you know, like a, a, a campaign of like $20 or something, um, you know, a budget of $20. And then they put like, uh, you know, the word bottle in it thinking like, Oh, I'm water bottle. Like that's super broad. Like I'll get a ton of cool keywords. But like you have to think about that word bottle now will will match with anything like baby bottle like I mean literally anything with the word bottle in it. So be really careful when you're bidding on broad phrase uh, broad matches because they're going to show for so many things. Um, generally, broad's going to be your cheapest bid. Phrase is going to be kind of in the middle, and exact is going to be your your largest bid. And generally, that's because exact's going to convert better. That's not always the case. You want to test each match type. Um, because one might convert better and there's no rhyme or reason. It just um, depends on the product and, and what kind of keywords are showing up for it. And you do want to kind of come up with a good keyword list. Um, your, your auto campaign is going to give you some, right? But you do want to also do some keyword research. Uh, like I said, I love to use Andy's tool, um, Pandora in Seller SEO, because I get to take all, I can take one keyword like bamboo skewers and it's going to give me all the ASINs that are competing for that keyword. And then it's going to tell me all of the other keywords that are related that they're bidding on. So then I instantly have a keyword uh, uh, list. And so you just want to make sure that you have lots of keywords because you never know what's going to convert. Um,